Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the query parameters in Postman. So previously we have understood about the path variables. Now let's understand about the query params and what is the difference between path variables and query parameters. Okay, so let's go to the documentation here. And if we simply go ahead, so we have seen get all products, so which will list all the products that are supported here. Getting a single product is basically slash the ID of the product, right? So basically forward slash in any of the URL is part of the path. And that's why any variable that we were using is basically a path variable so if we go back here so you'll see that forward slash and then colon ID is basically how the path variable will look like and many of the API documentation will show this that colon ID or colon product ID or whatever path variable as a path variable and that's that accurately or clearly documented if it is a path variable if it is a query parameter so that is all documented right now here the documentation is not absolutely clear but because it says forward slash one that means it's a part of the path now what exactly is the query params right so if we go to limit result right so here you will see this question mark okay and then we can limit the results to five or whatever limiting or whatever number we want to right now this question mark is basically what is refers as a query parameter it's a query that you can search or that you can run on this particular api okay let me create a copy of it let me zoom in a little bit okay so let me create a copy of this get products okay so i'll simply go ahead in this right hand side three ellipses click on duplicate and i'll rename it as get products filled okay with a little bit here okay so now here what we have done is we have simply let me remove this path variable okay so we are basically say for example getting all the product okay save it and then send it so you'll see we have got all the products in this particular list here okay we have got all the products in the list now query parameters will help us to query based on certain criteria right for example here what query is supported or query is being supported by this particular endpoint is basically limiting the results right now not everything will be supported or not all filtering querying will be supported by the endpoint right by the api so you have to make sure that you read the documentation what all querying is available right and whether it says it's a query parameter whether it's mandatory or optional all of that will be basically available in the api documentation and i'll show you the real documentation when we move to the advanced topics okay so here this question mark shows that this is a query parameter and then we can basically use the value limit and the value whatever results that we want to limit okay how we can add the query parameter simply we go here okay and in the query parameter we simply say the key whatever key is being used right so as soon as i'll type in limit you will see that question mark appears right and this is not the part of the path because path is forward slash right so that is why this is different from the path variable so i'll say limit and then i want to limit the results to only two or three okay so if i say three as the value you'll see equal to three got appended automatically let me save it and send the request okay so it has gone through id one okay first product second product and third product right that's it so the limiting of the result is possible with the query parameter so query parameter what exactly is the benefit is basically querying based on certain criteria okay if i just want one result there i simply change the limit to one and send it right so only one result will be available here right so only first id is available there right similarly if say for example there are 100 values okay in an array and i want to query only one value out of those 100 right so that's where query parameter basically it helps in querying something searching something from the big heap or big stack of things right so that's where query parameters are used and helpful and query parameters will always be shown whenever there is an in the path you will see that there is a question mark and then the value the the parameter and equal to followed by the value that is query parameter and when there is a forward slash okay and if say for example something like this as soon as i say forward slash and then colon say for example id right you will see the path variable 
appears so this is basically the part of the path any value that you will provide here in the id will get replaced here and will be considered as the path of the path will be considered the value of the path okay so that's the basic difference between the path variable and query parameters query parameters is used to filter the results get the specific value out of the array or or the stack of things and the path variable will get you the exact value or basically the exact data that you are looking for and it's part of the path right so both are very close and similar but there is a very fine difference that i hope you would have already got now this is very common interview question as well so make sure that you understand the path variable and query parameters will be using it a lot in the upcoming sessions or upcoming tutorials of post so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching